In this video, we're going to have a look at all the fractions content that's been taught in the S1 course um, and hopefully the skills that the S1s will have by the end of the topics. I'm not going to go into the methodology, I'm just going to show how the S1s have been taught and hopefully what they can do by the end of this topic. Okay, so we're going to start off, we've got like seven topics here and um, within fractions it might be two videos. First thing we're going to have a look at is how to find the fraction of an amount. Okay, the first question we've got here is two thirds of 24. So thirds is the important word here. If we're thinking about thirds, we're thinking about three parts. So we're going to divide 24 by three. And what we're going to do with that is we've got, that's, that would give us one third, but we want two thirds. So we then need to multiply by two. Essentially, we divide by the denominator, we multiply by the numerator. 24 divided by three is eight, which will multiply by two and we'll get 16. Similarly here, four fifths of 35. We're thinking about fifth, we're thinking about fifths. So we're going to divide 35 by five. But we want four of them, so we're going to multiply by four. We divide by the denominator, we times by the numerator. 35 divided by five is seven. So we're going to do seven fours, which will give us 28. That's how we're finding the fraction of an amount. We then looked at how to convert in between mixed numbers and improper fractions. Mixed numbers um, will have a certain number of holes and then a fraction of an amount. This first one here, we've got two holes and five eighths. We want to convert this into an improper fraction. That's where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Okay, what we're going to do to do this is we're going to do eight times two, which is 16. I'm just going to make that a bit thinner actually. Okay, so we're going to do 8 times 2, which is 16, and then we're going to add on the 5. 16 plus 5 is 21. So 2 and 5 eighths is the same as 21 eighths. These are exactly the same. The first one here is a mixed number, the second one an improper fraction. 4 and 3 sevenths, we want to figure out how many sevenths is that all together. We multiply the 7 and the 4, and we'll get 28, and then we add on the numerator. So that's 28 plus 3, 31. So as an improper fraction, we're going to have 31 over 7. 31 over 7. These answers here are improper fractions because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Similarly, we might want to try and go from an improper fraction to a mixed number. Here we've got 10 over 3. 10 over 3 means 10 divided by 3. So we ask, what is 10 divided by 3? How many threes go into 10? Well, there's three of them with remainder one. So it's three and a third. You notice the denominator stays the same. This one here, 15 over four. So it's going to be something over four. How many fours go into 15? Uh, I think it's three, because four threes are 12, and I'd have a remainder of three, four and three quarters. We then looked at simplifying fractions and equivalent fractions. To simplify a fraction means the fraction will have the same amount. It will just look slightly different, but it's going to represent the exact same thing. It's just going to be a wee bit simpler. What we do here is we look at this first fraction, 6 tenths, and we think, okay, what's the highest common factor of 6 and 10? What's the biggest number that goes into 6 and 10? So if we have a look here, both of these are in the 2 times table. So because of that, we can divide both by 2. And when we divide both by 2, we can simplify this to 3 fifths. We always want to write a fraction as a simplest fraction in its simplest form. It's much easier to think about 3 out of 5 equal things rather than 6 out of 10 equal things, just even for our heads to think about it. 18 over 24, 18 24, so there's a few strategies here. Okay, so we're looking, we want to try and make this look a bit simpler. So we might think, okay, what times table do they both share in common? What's the highest common factor of both? These both appear in the 3 times table, perhaps. So you might divide both by 3. And dividing both by 3 would get you to 6 over 8. But then you'll get 6 over 8 and you'll notice, oh, they're both in the 2 times table. So you can divide both by 2 again and you would get to 3 quarters. Notice in this question it took 2 steps to simplify it. You could have done it in 1 step. I'm just going to write this over here. To do it in 1 step, you just need to identify the highest common factor, that being the biggest number that goes into both. These are actually both in the 6 times table. So we can divide both by 6, and then we're going to get 3 quarters. Okay, 
we're not really that bothered how many steps it takes as long as you can get to the simplest form. So we can get we can simplify fractions and we can also make equivalent fractions. Just a wee note here, six tenths is the exact same as three fifths, it just looks a bit different. So we've got three quarters is equal to how many twelfths? So these will have the exact same value. So in the simplification, we looked at uh, division. For equivalence, we're looking for a multiplicative relationship. So we ask, how do we get from here to here? Well, we times by three. We're always looking for a multiplication. Uh, so what I need to do to the numerator is times by three. And that's going to give me nine twelfths. Three quarters is the exact same as nine twelfths. If we have a look at this one here, five eighths is equal to 15 over something. 5 eighths is the same as 15 over 7. We look for a multiplication relationship. So here we're once again multiplying by 3. So I'll need to multiply by 3 here. 8 threes would give us 24. 5 eighths is the exact same as 15 twenty-fourths. This idea of equivalence is one of the biggest ideas when we look at in this first fractions topic. We then looked at ordering fractions, putting fractions in order from smallest to largest. It's really difficult to order fractions though that have different names. Do you notice that these are quarters, these are ninths, and these are twelfths. That's the names of them, quarters, ninths, twelfths. So it's hard to identify like which of these is closest to the quarter, to the ninth, or to the twelfth. So it's more helpful if we can get them all to have the same name. So we're going to have a look at these highlighted numbers here. Okay, so the 4, the 9, the 12, and we want to find the lowest common multiple of 4, 9, and 12. What that means is, what is the smallest answer that appears in the 4 times table, the 9 times table, and the 12 times table? I'll say that again. That's the smallest answer that's in the 4, 9, and 12 times table. And if we think through this, the smallest answer that appears in all of those times tables is in fact 36. Okay, so in order to figure out the new numerator, because it's not going to become 336 or 536 or 736, we need to make the equivalent fraction. What we need to do is we need to think about, okay, how did we get from 4 to 36? We times by 9, so we're going to need to do 3 times 9. 3 nines are 27. 3 quarters is the same as 27 36. Let's have a look at 5 ninths. So how did we get from 9 to 36? Well, 9 times 4 is 36, so we're going to do this times 4. 5 4s are 20. And then we say this one here. How did we get from 12 to 36? Well, 12 times 3 is 36, so I'm going to times this by 3. This times 3 is 21, 36. So, now that we've got them in this with the same name, it's very straightforward to see which is the biggest, which is the smallest. Hopefully you can see that this is the smallest. 20, 36 is smaller than the others. I'm just going to say in order. So 20, 36 was the smallest. So that was 5 ninths. Then it was 21, 36, which was 7 twelfths. And then finally, 3 quarters. So in order to put fractions in order, we want to um, make sure they have the same name. In order to find that name, we find the lowest common multiple. Okay. Um, I think I'll stop there just now, and my next video will be on adding, subtracting, mixed numbers, and multiplication. Thank you very much.